Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back with our Let's Play Mario Tennis Game Boy Color version. Because apparently I was alerted to the fact there's a Game Boy Advance version, I like Mario Tennis Tour or something like that. That is awesome! I'm really actually excited about that, maybe I'll go play it later, but <clears throat> we have business to take care of, and it's actually not in the campaign, but look at that, level 45, only in 8 hours and a half. Putting this game, I'm actually pretty excited to say that I did this in under 10 hours, I only have one thing left to do in the campaign. But, let's just, you know, have some fun. Let's have some fun and play some mini-games. As you see, I have a bunch here unlocked already. Let's do Baby Mario really quickly. Uh, this is called the Target Shot. Target Shot Level 1. Return the balls in the target area for a point. Get a bonus by hitting... Hey, hold on a second. Wait a second. Oh. Um. Check rules. There you uh, Return the balls in the target area. Get a point. Get a bonus by hitting the shot shown. Okay. Cool. Is that it? I guess... That's it. Oh, there we go. Okay. A flat shot is three points. Strong topspin is three points. Strong slice is three points. Smash is five. Lob is five. Drop shot is five. And as you can see, we need to get 30 points. I believe you just need to return it into the areas and shit gets harder uh, based on the level. It's actually kind of cool, uh, but it's pretty tough as you can see. Uh, the guy keeps moving you around, the little robot dude, and he's like, hey man, you gotta hit it in these targets. I'm like, fine man, it's fine. No, no worries man. But, what? I... okay. That was weird. Either way, <laughs> uh, like I said, you have to be... crap, I did the wrong one again. Um, you have to be pretty dil... You have to be pretty diligent. Uh, you have to make sure you hit it to the target area, at least every time. Um, or else, as you can see, the, the challenge ends and you are out. You are, like... You're out. I, mean, I can't really, like, describe it any way else. But there we go. Um, make sure we hit... I don't understand how that wasn't an actual lob, but then again, that's left to be seen. I apologize for... See, there we go. See, I hit a lob, right? One point. Oh, that was a smash! That's why. I didn't see the plus button. I was looking at, like, arrows. There we go. See, like, that's a lob. Alright, cool. So we cleared level one. Good job, everyone. Um, I got, like, an issue here. It's a bit harder, though. Let's go to level two. Or we can just quit out completely. Let's go to level two! Uh, it's the same thing, and he's telling you to play well. See, you can see we're playing as Baby Mario. We should be actually in, okay. Target sixty uh, shouldn't be too difficult, but obviously you have to pay attention to now. The targets have gotten more difficult. So you have to. I didn't do that, man. Come on, whatever. You have to be like I said, even more so diligent now because the targets have most definitely changed. That was actually really close to me just getting out immediately. I'm not actually used to playing with anyone else besides myself. I haven't played with Mario character. See, like, I don't understand why it does that. It shouldn't be doing that. I'm not using that directional. But either way, um, I'm only used to playing with, like, my characters. I haven't played with Mario characters in this version yet. The emulator version. And you can go past the service line. I just choose not to so I can kind of deal with any sort of pressure the guy sends me. Hopefully get lucky there. Alright, perfect. Uh, keep our streak going here. 60, I guess, is a little bit tougher than I'd imagine, but it's because, like I said, I'm not used to playing with anyone else besides my characters, so I tend to, like, fall into patterns I would with my characters, and they have obviously different stats than the Mario characters, so you have to be, like I said, just very diligent. I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm like, going back to that where I should have smashed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have smashed that one. That's okay. I keep, like, falling back into the same word. I don't understand. I should have some more vocabulary variability, and that is alliteration. It always is good to kick off a commentary with alliteration and a bunch of verbal diarrhea, as you guys can hear. So there we go. We cleared level two. Good job. And then uh, level three is the challenge level, basically. It gets more difficult, but um, this is basically how high can you get your score. As you can see, the high score is 60. And you just want to beat your score, so I'll just play until I uh, get messed up here, and then I will go on to the next mini game, which will be fun as well. And see, I'm getting that A B now correctly, and right, that's out. All right, perfect. So as you can see, you just have to beat your high score. So let's go back to the main menu. Let's see what we can play next. Let's play the, the Boo Blast game next. It's, I mean, you gotta kill the Boo. So Boo Blast. Score a point by hitting Boo as you continue your rally with Luigi. The points earn double for each consecutive stroke that hits Boo. The game ends, your rally ends. Uh, that's really easy. Basically, you just have to hit the Boo. 
And it gets more difficult because you're obviously rallying with someone, and I miss because I suck, but um, if you miss Boo, don't worry. It's just for points, so this can go really easy or really difficult depending on how you're playing. You just want to keep hitting Boo, and the more cooperative Luigi is, the better it is. And there you go, so you clear level 1 pretty easily. Uh, this one's going to be 60 points again, and it'd be cool if you could just get a huge rally, but like, Luigi doesn't like to work together with you to hit the booze. You kind of have to, kind of on your own there. That was a nice little moonwalk dive, if you guys didn't see that. That felt, yay, there we go. So, pretty easy. Not very difficult. Um, we'll do the challenge. Let's, let's see how high we can go. Just curiosity. Curiosity killed the cat. And the cool thing about this is, um... It'll keep the double points on your side, as long as you keep hitting Boo, so even if Luigi hits Boo, you just won't get that extra uh, Boo point. Keep it on this side. There we go. I love the sound Boo makes when you hit him. It's very funny. Alright, so we beat our high score. Um, let's go to the next minigame. We're kind of like shooting through these. I feel kind of bad. I'm not really giving these a lot of effort, but then again, I'm, I'm beating them all, so... Shooting star, Luigi challenge. Hit the star to get one point, or smash the star to get seven points. The points earn double for each consecutive stroke that hits a star. Um, this is another robot game. You just want to keep uh, hitting the star, and it's really not that difficult. Um, actually, it gets more difficult the challenge level goes on, but you just want to keep getting those double points, and you'll be good to go. As you can see, I'm going to have the level done here. Ooh, I didn't think I would miss that. Oh, well. As you can see, the color turns when you're not on a streak. Um, I believe the color turns when you're at max points, too, I think. I'm not too sure about that one, don't quote me. I think it turns into silver, but this is taking long, because I'm being stupid, but that's okay. Uh, don't use directionals, there we go, perfect. And if you hit flat shots, I would recommend more flat shots, because you can see the target is on the service line, and I think it's a lot easier to hit the target on the service line when using flat shots and not strong shots, which I am apparently loving life right now with them, so we gotta be careful. And hopefully we can finish off this challenge, there we go, very nice. Level 260, a bit harder, obviously going to be a bit longer, unless I'm aiming correctly. Hopefully this guy does not move me around that much, because that would be terrible. Let's keep it in flatters, see if we can hit the max points. Well, obviously I can't, because the limit is 60. I mean, the score limit is 60. I believe the max is either 124, or 120, 128, I think. Or maybe it's 64, I'm not sure. But see, we beat that really easily. And, of course, we're going to go on to the challenge... See how high we can go. This one we could probably actually last fairly long with, especially when we chain two adverbs together. Probably actually, which I believe is grammatically incorrect, so I apologize for my transgressions against the grammar Nazis out there in the crowd, which I don't think there are fairly many of you, because honestly, it's harder to pick out uh, grammar errors, I think, in people's speech. Yeah, see, so you go, Silver Star, you hit the max, 128. Um, we're gonna run up the score on this guy really, really easily here. But it's really, I think it's really hard to pick out uh, grammar errors in speech just because of how people can continue to just speak the same way and speak fast like I do. Oh crap, uh, keep going here. Um, they speak fast so you can't pick it out as easily and I kind of want to hit a thousand and then I'll be done. I'll, I'll throw the challenge, unfortunately. This is like, it's like the Olympics, like I'm getting paid to throw the challenge, Duff King. You need to let our country win, and we're going to pay you tens of thousands of dollars, and your name is Shoeless Joe Jackson, they wrote a shitty storybook about you, and never mind that, I'll talk about that later, no, it's terrible, I'm going to throw a challenge here. So there you go, 1150 points, you can really run up the challenge on this one because of the double consecutive scores. Let's go to the only one we have left, which is Banana Bunch, Donkey Kong. Let's do level one. Banana Bunch, score points each time you hit a banana. One banana is one point, three bananas, three points. Game ends if you don't return the ball. Goal is 30 points. So, there you go. It's just like the wall drill. And you want to hit the bananas. And I believe level two adds the directional pads, which makes things so much more interesting in my opinion. You can really just kind of bum rush it if you want, but I'm take my time here. I actually really like the theme of this one. I don't know, I just remember this one more vividly than all the other themes that I recall. I don't know why. It's just two. There we go. And then it goes into like a fanfare type song. I can't actually remember. What is this theme? Oh my gosh. This is like Mario 64 theme stuff, I think. Uh, sounds like it's like... Uh, 
uh, like main room music or victory music of some sort. There we go, level one cleared. Uh, let's do level two really quick. Yes, I know, this makes things much tougher. As you can see, those things shoot your ball upwards, and you have to be careful because you don't want to shoot it upwards and out. Uh, as you can see clearly by that almost mistake, <laughs> uh, you want to take your time with this one and not screw yourself up like I'm trying to do here, apparently, so... <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, man. What am I doing? Get over here. There we go. I want to keep... No! This is much more difficult, as you can see. I don't like how it changes. I just want to hit the threes. Get up! Okay. You're Donkey Kong. You should be able to do this. You should be able to, like, break everything as well. Just gotta be careful about those things, man. You're a freaking Donkey Kong. You know what's interesting? They called him Donkey Kong? It'd be interesting to look at those. Some of you probably know the origin of his name. I don't. Uh, his name is Donkey Kong, and he's obviously a gorilla, or an ape, if you want to be more general. Um, but he's not a donkey. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, why is he Donkey Kong? Which is just I know Kong is like his last name, like King Kong, which is a gorilla. But, or is he an ape? I don't know. I'm not a evolutionary biologist. I don't know species. I'm not, I'm not a speciest. Fuck! Excuse me. Apologize. That was... I came out terribly. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, it'd be interesting because he's not a donkey, obviously. I don't think he has any donkey counterparts. He only has like a rhino, um, a marlin, a mar, a marlin, like the Florida marlins. I believe it's a swordfish, AJ. I, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so bad with animals. I'm not like a 12 year old, or not 12. I'm not like a five year old. I don't know my animals like the back of my hand. Actually, funny story on um, how I just randomly knew an animal. I don't know why. This is like terrible verbal diarrhea, but um, I was at my house, obviously, and I was home from school with my mom, and there was something in the pool and it was moving around. It was obviously an animal. It wasn't like a fish. You can't have fish in our pool. Although, that would be kind of interesting to swim with the fishes, literally, without the cement shoes and dying part of it. <laughs> Crap, get up! Damn it! Okay, so there's an animal there, and I was like, shit, what is that? My mom's like really scared because the thing was growling at her. She tried to get get it out of the pool, and we were like, oh boy, this isn't, this isn't going to end well, right? And I was like, oh, it's a muskrat, look at the tail. And wouldn't you know, it was actually a muskrat, and like out of the blue I just knew what a muskrat looked like. Did not know what a muskrat looked like. Just kind of, it was like that reaction, to, like, did I actually just say that and was right about it? Yep, I was. It was a muskrat, and the thing was, finally like got out of our pool. It was like a growling at my mom, she thought it was rabid, and we were going to die in the house, so... She had to stay inside Well, foolishly, she did everything. And I was like, Mom, what the hell is your problem? Just let me, do, let me handle things, all right? Let me... But I just out of nowhere, I just knew exactly what a muskrat was because of the tail, which I, don't, I, I swear I don't know what a muskrat is. I don't know. Although the thing was pretty freaking nasty, so... If you ever encounter a muskrat, just tell him that his brother was not very nice. Why can't I just do this? It's not difficult. Just, ugh. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Look where I am. I was like way out of the car for that. That was kind of crazy. It's not hard. Just... Oh, come on. I did not hit that. I wonder if the challenge level, uh, the arrows change around. That'd be terrible. That'd be terrible, but... I don't know, actually. It'd be interesting to do, because obviously we're going to do the challenge level until we fail. A lot of mumbly mumbles. Oh, come on now. I just want to hit the banana, man. I'm just Donkey Kong, man. Oh my gosh. His placement is awful. If I was doing this in my character, this would be way over and done with already. But whatever, man. We've gone through the theme how many times now? <laughs> That's okay, I really do like this theme. I think it, honestly, it's from Mario 64 in some way, shape, or form. I swear. Oh, I knew I was going to hit the ground like a fucking idiot. Come on. It, what is it with the walls rolling me that I just cannot figure out? That's not a good thing. Oh well. Yeah, look at look at this. Like, ugh. It's not hard. You just go left and right with the thing and just hit four hands and make sure you move back up to the service line every once in a while. Those are your tips right there, by the way. I try to give like little tips with every challenge because these are kind of... I mean, this one is probably the most difficult for me, but you know my history with the wall drill. But right now I'm doing it like freaking perfectly, go figure, after I just complain and swore about it like a, t a terribly immature language user. I don't know why people think 
swearing is immature. I think I already did a commentary on that, though. So I can't say anything. Yes, we did it. Whew, Jesus. That's terrible. Okay, so. Challenge level. Let's check it out. Let's see if they actually change. Oh my gosh. Oh, it spells DK. How cute. This sucks. I forgot that I could be lobbing it the whole time, but I like to stick with the... Okay, so there you go. There's your challenge levels. <laughs> Let's go to the level select and see if we got any more challenges from beating all of them. No! We must beat the total game to get all the challenges. I think there's only one left, and that was, um... Obviously, you'll find out after the doubles match that we are about to go into, so 